Well, Jean Stéphane, thanks so much for speaking with us. It's great to meet you. Perhaps you could just start by telling us about A Prayer Before Dawn. For people who haven't seen it, what's this film about? The film is about, it's based on a true story. It's about Billy Moore. He's a guy from Liverpool who had a kind of uh, addiction to drugs when he was a kid, you know, living in a kind of uh, difficult environment. And he decided to change his life to go to Thailand. And um, he ended up, you know, going back into drugs addiction. And he was a boxer at the same time. And finally he got arrested and ended up in a Thai prison where he spent three years of his life, you know. And uh, where he found his release, you know, through the boxing inside the prison. So the film is really about a prison and boxing movie, you know, but this guy from Liverpool uh, who found his freedom being locked in a Thai prison. And why this story? How did you come across Billy Moore's story and why did you want to make a film out of it? The, the producer sent me the, the book, you know, and the script, you know, based on the true story. And I was really interested by the character, Billy Moore, because I think he's a contradictory character, you know, it's somebody who can be really violent, but he's a kid at the same time, you know, he's really vulnerable. And uh, I thought this story about addiction, prison and boxing, plus set up in Thailand, you know, it was something really interesting to work on the cinema I kind of like, meaning like an immersive cinema, you know, and uh, I thought like, I like shooting in different countries as well and trying to be immersed in different culture. And I thought the Thailand and boxing was something that really interested me. And uh, that's why I decided, you know, to, uh, to do this film. And what about the casting process? How did you come, come across Joe Cole? It must have been, you know, you had to get the right person in there to, to be able to take on this, this kind of role. Yeah, it's, it's always a long process of casting, you know, but with Joe, we have the same agent in the US, Elan Ruspoli, you know, at CAA. And Elan told me about Joe. And first, you know, when I saw his pictures, you know, I thought it's interesting because he really looks like the real Billy Moore, you know, plus he was from UK and it was important for me to have an actor from UK, you know. And then I watched like two films, Offender, which he did, you know, uh, like four years ago, where he's playing uh, young prisoners in a juvenile detention center. And when you can see already, you know, the kind of rage he can have, you know, the kind of violence, you know, he can have. And he did also a short film called Slap, when he's doing a boxer, you know, put makeup and become a woman. And so, so you couldn't see also the vulnerability of Joe playing these two like different characters. And I thought he was perfect, you know, for playing Billy Moore because he had these two uh, face, you know, the character, the vulnerability and the violence. So I'm really happy about this choice, you know, and uh, that's how we end up doing the film together. And then he was really brave, you know, and said because it's not an easy shooting for him, you know, it's a really physical film. So he came in advance, you know, he rehearsed, he did like boxing uh, training in a boxing camp in Thailand. And uh, every day he was kind of really uh, into it, you know, and he was also like, he's almost the only professional actor in the film. I work with only non-professional actors in Thailand, so who don't speak English who have the experience of the prison because they're all former prisoners, boxer former prisoners, or lady boy, or all the people in the film are we all people, I mean non-professional, and they're talking about their own life, their own experience of life. So for Joe, you know, when you come like this on a set, you know, and you are surrounded by 50 tattoo guys from gangs and stuff, you are really immersed. And it's interesting also for an actor, I think, and I was part of my plan, you know, trying to immerse him, you know, in this kind of environment to be able to play, you know, and feel what Billy could have feel, you know, uh, when uh, he ended up in this prison, you know, not speaking the language and uh, trying to survive in this kind of environment. And I hope, you know, this experience is also an experience for the audience, you know, trying to, uh, for this film to be more immersive as just telling the story, but I really wanted for the audience to feel, you know, what was the feeling of Billy, you know, when he ended up in this jail and uh, what the feeling of being in a ring and fighting, you know, so it's a cross between documentary and fiction and we shot, you know, long shots, sometimes like 10 minute shots, you know, so Joe was really uh, into it, you know, uh, as 
almost as a real life, you know, uh, experience. So it's sort of beyond realism, almost into sort of reality kind of documentary. Yeah, because I, I like the authenticity in a story. You know, I think if you have to tell a true story, if you have to tell a story in a prison in Thailand, it can't only come from my mind, you know, my imagination. I think like all these people from prison, the former prisoners, you know, they had this kind of experience of prison and they helped me a lot, you know, for this film to be authentic and realistic. Because if you don't have these people, you know, I mean, you are just imagine what you've seen in films, maybe, but not maybe from the reality. I never spent like time in a, a Thai prison, you know, and they didn't really allow me, you know, to visit prison in Thailand because it's kind of secure and Thai authority. They don't want, you know, for foreigners to uh, to visit the prison. So in this case, I thought it's going to be interesting to work with the former prisoners and get this sense of authenticity. And what has the reception been so far? And what do you expect people to take away from it? Do you think it's going to be quite different here as it might be over in Thailand, for example? We'll see in Thailand, but yeah, so far we have a good reception. You know, the premiere was in Cannes Film Festival and then we're here in the uh, UK. And um, we'll see in Thailand, you know, how is going to be the reaction. but. I can understand for Thai, you know, maybe it's difficult to see this kind of image of Thailand because they, they prefer to show, you know, the beach and the people smiling and stuff. But I think it's also interesting. And for me, it was not to point, you know, the fact that prison in Thailand are terrible, as the, are the worst, but it was just like a prison, it's uh, not really a nice environment. In every country, you know, it's the same, you know, it's not the best place to be. So it's set up in Thailand, but I really try to show also the humanity of the Thai people, even if they are like prisoners or boxers and stuff. Wanted to show this yeah, humanity of each of them. And uh, and for me, it gives also an image interesting of the Thailand, uh, something I like because I really love working with these people and showing this kind of uh, uh, courage and brave people they are, you know, so. And can then you uh, briefly tell us about any upcoming projects? Have we got anything else in the pipeline? Coming project, yeah, for now I'm working on a film, it's called Addicted to Violence. So it's also, you know, a film about violence in the same kind of uh, continuity of Johnny Mad Dog and A Prayer Before Dawn. You know, I'm interested to uh, try to understand, you know, how we can fight the violence and how you can survive to the violence when it affected you, you know, in an early age, childhood or whatever, which was the case for Johnny in Johnny Mad Dog. It's the case of Billy in this film, A Prayer Before Dawn. It's going to be the case also in the next film of the main character who's a photojournalist. He goes, you know, everywhere in the world and become more and more addict to this kind of form of violence, trying to understand his own violence. All right, fantastic. Well, best of luck with that project and for your film here at the film festival. Thank you.